This is my first time playing this uh, series. Uh, I, a long time ago, I watched. Uh, I watched. I think chapter season one when it first came out. Long time ago, I watched all the YouTubers play it, so I kind of know how that ends. Uh, but uh, all these other uh, seasons, I'm not familiar with. I'm going into that completely blind. This is this is the first season right here. All right, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Sounds a little loud. Oh, Ken, what's up? First time. Uh, I, I, I've i seen the first season, first part of this, long time ago when it first came out, but all the other parts, I'm, I'm going, going in blind. Standard minimal. I guess I'll do standard. Episode one, a new day. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored. Okay, I heard that, yeah, the decisions you make are very uh, crucial in how the game plays out. Try to turn down the volume a little bit, it's a little loud. These games have such a unique well, art style. I reckon you didn't do it then. Uh, using mouse wheel or keys one through four. Why do you say that? You know what they say about reckoning? Does it really matter? You oh. know what they say about reckoning? I meant to select I the first one, but. But I reckon it's a lot like assuming. Yeah, something like that. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. Okay. Now aim the target at the rearview mirror. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. A making boy? What do you think? I'm just glad I chose law and not order. Big messy trial like that. Even if you was innocent, a lot of what happened can't ever be undone. Any of that seem important to you? All of it, but that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. UGA. You meet your wife in Athens? Was well, my wife dead? You want to know how I see it? Sure. Juan, what's up? Sure.
Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Could be I did. Or she married the wrong guy. <sighs> but no response. You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. Oh man, it's going down. I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby the on thing an off? airplane. Are you allowed to? He's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. Yikes. I think he actually believed it himself. Atlanta's dead. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, turning into it goes to show. Uh, Raccoon a City. Man, Doing a little Raccoon City cosplay. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Game, yeah, game over. That's it. That was fun. Seven minutes of gameplay. Ten out of ten. Wake up, man. Wake up. Wake up. Thirsty. That's the first thing you say. <laughs> My leg. How many days has passed? What? Since what? Why the hell did he have his gun out? Hey, hey, officer, are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here. Officer? Oh, that mm. doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. He was pulled. Maybe it was tossed from the car during the wreck. I need to drag myself out that window. Since this accident? What? I, I don't know. It just happened. What do you mean? It just happened. I need to drag myself out that window. Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh, move. Move. Oh. God damn. Wait, can I grab the shotgun? The officer's shotgun is over there. Yeah, pick it up. I picked up this shotgun shell. Uh, no, okay. Exactly, man, dude. Officer? Gamers would know that you gotta grab the shotgun first. God damn. Free loot. Oh, 
nice. Oh, he's gonna grab you. Oh, he's gonna grab you. Oh, he's gonna grab you. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh. Uh oh. Officer. Oh Jesus. Holy shit. Back up, back up, back up. What in the hell? What the fuck are you? Get away from me. Boom. Boom. Bap. Take the shot. Oh, come on. What the hell, man? Fucking Butterfingers over here. He's choking. Don't make me do this. Oh, I'll do it. Boom. Headshot. Man. Man. Help! Go get someone! Hey, little girl. Oh, you just left me. Oh god. Alright, get up, get up, man. Get up, get up. Ooh. Oh. Oh, come on, this fucking guy. Dude, get up, move, go! <laughs> yeah, whenever people see zombies... In like these kind of, they're all like, what the hell is that thing? <laughs> nice. Hello? Anybody? Everyone's just gone. I wonder if anybody's home. Maybe I should just check inside the house through the glass door before wandering out into the neighborhood. Sounds like a plan. Hello? Anybody home? I wonder if anybody's home. I wonder if anybody's home. I wonder if anybody's home. Can I open it? No. I wonder if anybody's home. Yeah, open it. Oh, I just gotta walk through here. Okay. Wait, can I walk through here? The external monologue, yes. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Help! Maybe I should just check inside the house through the glass door. I couldn't open the glass door. Am I, am, I not, am I not doing it right or something? Come on, man. Open the glass door. You can do it, I believe. I wonder if anybody's home. Open the door. I wonder if anybody's oh, home. my God. Oh, I have to sc oh, I have to scroll down between the oh, I see, I see now. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Thanks. I did not notice that. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Not a zombie. Ah. Hello. I'm not an intruder. But one of them. <laughs> yeah, what is going on here? It's like a crack house. A, a unicorn? Oh, buddy. This guy is tripping and sliding and just dropping shit everywhere. Is that blood? Jesus. Oh, that's a lot of prompts. a savannah area code but that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter huh hello radio yoink Is that the radio? Or is that happening somewhere over here? Is there an answering machine? Maybe there's something on there. Three new messages. Message one left at five forty three. Why are we checking the answering machine? <laughs> hey Santa, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. When answering anyway, machines were still a thing. Hey, Tanner, what's up? well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Clementine. Message two. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. When did this game come out? Like we 10 years ago? We love you. Daddy? Huh? Who's your daddy? Hello? The Clementine? Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No, I'm not. Am I gonna play all these games in a row? Yeah, yeah, probably. Uh, I mean, what I'm playing right now is the definitive edition, so it has like all the different, uh, um, where are your parents? Seasons all in one. Uh, so I'll play them Santa. all back to back, I guess. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Okay, it's a girl. <laughs> oh no! Uh, is that mama? Uh, this motherfucker. Nice. Uh, 
Uh, made in abyss. <laughs> Thanks for the hammer, girl. Bap. 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 But to be fair, Japan is J Japan's full of pedos, man. man. Hi there. Did you know that the, the author of Roroni Kenshin got caught with child pornography on, uh, on his computer? Did you kill it? What a counter argument. <laughs> yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Look for help before it gets dark. Get out of here while once the sun goes down. Uh, I'll say before it gets you dark. Find help before it gets dark. Yeah. You chose the safety of daylight. Right. If you like anything from Japan, fifty-fifty chance. Stay close to me. <laughs> yeah, I guess. All right, Clementine, let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. How do I use the radio? Uh, will that come up eventually? Oh my God, am I, I going to be limping forever? Quantum flip that the author was will be canceled at some point. Oh, man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. I ain't ever getting home to mama. How do I open the gate? Okay. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. They won't. <laughs> well, let's go They're dead. We're safe. That's close. Okay. That's a good idea. Are these guys uh Man. trustworthy? Holy shit. Don't eat us. We're not gonna hurt you. <laughs> yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. That racist. They should leave it. Oh, they should leave it. No, you're right. What are you doing? Trying to get home. This neighborhood's a disaster. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, fifteen miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Hey, hey, what's up? This is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Just some guy. Just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. Sean noticed what you said. Alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. I don't trust these guys. What do you want to do? I. Rule number one in in the Walking Dead universe is don't tr don't trust anyone. I don't trust Clementine exactly. They. That's the right mentality you gotta have. I got my eye on her.
for just some guy? It seems like you've saved a bunch of lives today. Have you played any other uh, uh, Telltale games, Ken? Or just uh, Walking Dead? I hear there's supposed to be some like uh, that the or some of the other Telltale games are pretty pretty good too. Yeah, the Wolf Among Us I heard was pretty good. Is the Wolf Among Us um, based off something or is it just like an original game? Hey Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. What Can game is this? Ah, uh, it's just some some kind of two dollar game baseball. someone donated to me. Oh, it's a Disney fairy tale based. Oh, I see. God, you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. We need a place to stay. We uh, need a place to stay. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's just you and your daughter then. He's not my. How many times do I have to say this? He's well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. What a question is that? Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. No stranger danger. Yeah, thanks for checking, man. Like a. Take a seat up on the porch, and I'll go see what I have. <laughs> Let's have a look. Yeah, hey, Clementine's a real one. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? How far you ever get into the show? Uh, I haven't seen, I think, the last two seasons. Doesn't matter, right? Oh, I meant to select Lee, man. God damn it. If you're going to be here overnight, I'm going to need it. Unless you'd rather hit the road. It's Lee. Well, Lee. Just Lee. I take it. I'm Herschel Green. I, I, I started the season where they um, had the... How did this happen? The people that wear the zombie skins. Car accident. That's so. Where were you headed before the car accident? Is this Herschel? Is this the same Herschel from the show? Home. Where's home? I grew up in Macon. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? Oh yeah, I saw I saw that. Um, they had a crossover little thing. I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. I heard the Neg wasn't the Negan card supposed to be pretty broken. The barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem. is looking young in this. This must be like. Imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Actually, no, I don't know. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking first thing tomorrow. We got to reinforce the fence around the farm. Rick card was the best. That doesn't seem necessary. I didn't even know there was a Rick card. I saw there was um heard on the radio, but there's some Wasn't there like a Michonne card too? Hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Uh dead crop. Dead people walking. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. They're booty now? Oh, no. Chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said... Dude, it's all about the secret layer Fortnite cards yeah, now. Magic the Gathering. It should start to feel better Drop the battle bus on someone in-game. Oof. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. Oh, hey, ho. We'll Good. clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Good one, Herschel. Okay, that'd be preferable. 
There's Blinken. Oh, there's a Street Fighter collaboration. Seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right then. All right. It smells like. Smells like shit. Shit. <gasps> I'm sorry. Shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh. Okay. You are a bad person. <laughs> what the hell? I love you, baby. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real, man. Hey, get up. I'm itchy. Well, you she has to grow up. She has to grow up fast. Lucky you don't have spiders in your She's living through an apocalypse. But I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, I'm not her dad. I'm Kenny. God damn it, man. I need to put on a sticker with an arrow pointing. I'm not her dad. We better get going or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Call him Duck? Doc? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I Is think this whole game just... Yeah, I think so, yeah. Hammers. It's kind of like playing through a movie. But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My well, family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and... Personally, I'd appreciate the company. You're, wait, I, I, I remind you of Duck. A couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah. Well, I need a good form. I will build a fence. On the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool. Duck and I will hop to it. All right, diggity duck. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Yo, West, you buy all the new uh, Dragon Ball, or Dragon Ball Fortnite skins? Yep. Okay, where am I going? Over here. Seems like those two are getting along. Hell no. <laughs> Seems like an all right dude. Yeah, the skins I thought were kind of whatever. If they were, if they came out with like a Vegeta or Gogeta skin, that'd be sick. But man, there's no way they're gonna drop that. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. This kid a little slow or something. Foreman, lift with your back, Sean. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Sean's still working on that fence. Hey, Lee. <laughs> Need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. <laughs> My dad doesn't know how bad it a is. A little slow. <laughs> no, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. What the fuck? Damn. Oh shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh, yeah, zombie, yeah. I bashed a pearl. I had to shoot one. To shoot one. 
I could shoot. Are you gonna be on League anytime? Yeah, probably after I'm done playing away. this game. I'll hop on. Or on like four maybe. Keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? See ya. I'm not quite sure where my ex wife is. Ah. Oh. Ah, uh, oh. Yeah. For sure. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. All right. Do you uh, think this thing will keep them out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Fortification pass. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. All right, Duck. These walking controls are kind of wonky. All right, what next? Is good with her. Oh, it's meant for console. Oh, I mean, I should, maybe I should plug in the controller then. Oh yeah, that feels a lot better. There we go. Wow. Braces are easier to read too. Oh yeah, yeah. Sean's still working on that fence. Okay, what do I okay, what do I need to do? Hey, I'm gonna go uh, check on the others. Go talk with your surrogate daughter, man. Build that relationship. I mean, he's just. What's the point? He's gonna die anyways. Oh, spoiler. Whoops. Hey there, girls. What do you do? How is the city? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale, like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. You learned cut, uh... No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. How did you handle getting through the city? Can you just... Katya, I learned you were fired. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just... just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... The things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Who wouldn't? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. I think Doc will be fine. <laughs> we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how was that? It's easy. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> you up? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't and see no people shit. eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. You're learning Clementine is a first grader. Hey, back in a bit. Oh. Okay, Lee. I talked to Clem. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Yeah. Back in a bit. 
Okay, Lee. Can I talk to him? No. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hell yeah, brother. American made. I go into the house? No. Hey, Lee. Still need a hand? That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Okay, what now? Do you uh, think this thing will keep him out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Talk to everyone, right? How are these things to drive? Kenny? Awesome! Pain in the ass, mostly. Big, heavy as hell, and slower than, uh... Kenny, the guy working on the truck? Didn't I just talk to him? He's working on his truck. Yo, Kenny. My man, Ken. It's actually a piece of shit, but Hall's all right. Oh, there we go. Okay. Hey there, uh, Kenny. How's your son How's doing? Your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station, and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds, and... Christ, just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's, but we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Need any help? No, I think I got it. You learned about Kenny's boat. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Uh, no kids. No, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. See you. You know. You know how it is. That Hirsch? That Hershey? Hershey kiss? You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. A man asks you your name, you give it. I'm sorry, man. I misclicked. How'd you get out of Atlanta? On foot. I headed south and hoofed it out of there. That's a long walk. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan having a place like this. It was in the family. And My bad man missed not. input. <laughs> Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? Parents are in Macon. My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Uh, I was looking for help in her house. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? What's up, Herschel? What is it? I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better 
to become a better liar than fast. Oh man, Herschel is. Things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning you, I'm trying to be honest, man. My bad. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. Oh, and I start checking the attitude, friend. Oh, you talk talking to me about attitude? Go! I'll get my gun. Oh god. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, duck, you dumbass. Fucking duck, dude. He's just racist. My leg is off of me. Let's go, man. Get up. God damn it, Kenny. Just drop the kid. It's not like the zombies are right there. They're on the other side of the fence. Oh my lord, dude. Oh, yeah, he's dead. Yeah, good good job, duck, you dumbass. I blame Duck for that shit. That boy needs a good whooping. Get out. Yeah, Duck, get out. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. You tried to help him. But this piece of shit let him die. True. Not wrong. It's Kenny's fault. It's my fault. It's nobody's fault. Ugh, God, I'll, I'll say it's no you fine. Can't blame Kenny. The hell I can't. You watch your back. We can tell it's your daughter and you need his help. Oh, that's a good point. Just go. It's Tug's fault. True. that ride to make it if you want it. Fucking duck, dude. God damn it, man. This is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Rug. Look! Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. <laughs> Fuck. Oh uh, yeah, I don't know if he's friendly. Oh, nice going, dumbass. Woke up the whole city. Oh no, not duck. Oh, who the hell is this? Fuck. Was that Glenn? 
That Glenny boy. The same hat, right? And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. It could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. We have kids with us. I see. They really did Glenn dirty this series. Oh, oh no. What is it? I, I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. Just go. Then just go. Got oh, she didn't like that answer. <laughs> just, you're in a you're in a convenience shop. Just find a bathroom or something. I'm sure, there's one. God damn it, Lily! You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's the leader here, but it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the holy shit, son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. Is he? He wasn't bitten. Hell he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. <laughs> no, I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad. It's Kick his cool. ass. Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. Kick his ass. You need to calm down. We kick his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, chill the fuck out. Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. Who right fuck now, this guy? We're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? With He's a kid. That's how you Oh, I mean zombie. Not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. I, it's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Get your head out of your ass. I'm not her dad. We people in here. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another way. Yeah, with a shovel. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about duck. Lee. Yeah? Were they locked? There's someone in there. Uh-oh. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm Go just pee in a corner. My daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. He's just She'll a boy. Fast. And then there'll be three. And that boy is the ball game. Then we deal with it then. But right now we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it because that boy is bit not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. No, stop him, hit him, stop him, no. No, you don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <laughs> uh, of course. Zombie in the bathroom. Classic. Fucking Lee, dude. Oh, slow mo action. Come on. Come on. Man. You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, the gunshot. Right, right. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Shut up. 
Oh, what the hell? A heart attack? What's wrong with him? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. This guy? There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin. Oh, yeah. How do you know it's an office? Uh... get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. I don't know. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. And no this shit, Glenn. exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Lily and Larry. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Doug, okay, Carly, Carly Lily, Larry. Needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Why are you glaring at me like that? I'm helping your dad, aren't I? It's not damaged. Well, this place didn't get looted. What is that? What was that? Energy bar. Okay. Hey there. Hi. Can I uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. Well, here I got just a thing for you. So, um. Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I just. Uh, I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yeah, well said. Yep. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Well, sit tight. Okay. Here's that uh, energy bar. Not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. You took care of Clementine. The pills are in there. Another energy bar. Yoink. Here, do you want one? You want another one? She doesn't want another one. Okay. There's no getting in there from out here. That grate does its job. Here you go, here's an energy bar. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Guy has a big-ass nose. Now his heart's acting up again, and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad... That didn't help. Hey, he started it, man. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. Nah. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were... Oh, up. he did? We were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. 
<laughs> in case they were just sleeping. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up walking around, eating people, and turning them into more, more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Family. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Barely seems like he Don't can. Him the reason everything's screwed. He's not helping. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been so Not her goddamn house. dad. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Alive inside. Is that a... Is that a reference to like that don't dead open inside? <laughs> don't open dead inside. Is Clem Clem's coming with me? Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna do <laughs> I could try. More. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. This door leads to the back alley. A first aid kit. Grab that. Come in handy. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Oh, luckily? What? Oh, it's his parents? Find anything? Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. Yeah, who am I? You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This oh, that's what happened? Store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? The world is ending out there. Who cares who I am? If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, a skill that might come in handy, Afro. You're insane. Whatever. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. I don't trust you. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Oh, 
Clementine heard all that? <laughs> Is that a walking cane? What's that? This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you and your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's a smart one. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> you don't need anything, right? No. I get hungry a lot. Okay. Good to know. Yeah, same. And you don't have any allergies or anything I should know about, right? No kids have allergies or asthma or just general maladies. My friend Alfred has peanut allergy. But you're cool. But you're cool? Yeah, I didn't ask about I Alfred. So. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Let's just move this thing. Let's not talk about that. These play sports. What do your parents do? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor and my dad is an engineer. Oh. What's your job? I Some money in that family. And writing and things like that. Like um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right. Okay. Yeah, I know. Want to talk about your family? Oh my Do god, they, like, hate you because they're dead. Because they're dead, Clem. Thanks. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I killed someone, and uh, a bad guy. I got in some trouble, but keep that. I'm not a bad guy. guy okay? Things happen and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. First aid kit. I'll find you a bandage. First aid kit, where was it? Right here. Boom. Oh, TV. Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. TV remote, yoink. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I don't think they will. They They'll find us. Track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Here's the remote to my dad's TV. Watch some tube. Anything on the television? That's what I figured. Damn. 
Alright, we can finally go into the the back the back room. It's locked. Okay, we never mind. Track down the keys if we're gonna help Murray. Damn it. You wanna help me look for the keys, Clementine? No? Okay, cool. Uh would they be in this room? Or do I have to told me he bought that TV to watch baseball in here, but I caught him watching his stories more than a few times. His stories. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Fans came in here hoping to survive. Might have to go back in the other room. to the drugstore with me. Okay. Lee? What's up? Yeah. You're not bad, right? I, I said no. Why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Yes. Yeah, he was. And you had to protect yourself. Yeah, I did. That's right. Oh, okay. I guess technically he was eating my ex-wife, <laughs> and I had to save her. Hey there, uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone, or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee, what's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Classic Glenn. Down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You've got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Um. Is there anything? Do we need to prep anything before we leave? What did I just grab? Oh, an energy bar? Here, I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. <laughs> you seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Doug? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parents basement sort of <laughs> that parents basement sort of way what uh, nothing how do you end up here we drove up to cover the cherry blossom festival Real I guess she has a type stuff. sounds worth it what are you messing around with there a radio I can't get it to work though here let me have a look let's see oh yeah you forgot to turn the power oh never mind okay nothing. Turn that dial a little bit. Flip this over. Up oh, here's where your problem is. There's no batteries. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries? What now? Batter battery? What? Uh, of course. I mean, I mean, yeah. No. Oh my I god, she's so dumb. Some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. 
You don't know what batteries look like? What the fuck is going on? What's up, Doug? Heard or seen anything? How's the view? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Cool. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring him back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Doug is a Chad. Jesus. Giga Chad. I can tell you're probably terrible. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? He does? Wait, well, yeah, how can you how can you tell? I found this in the office. Oh. The boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we could make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Think you can do anything with this? Yeah, I used to fiddle around with stuff like that when I was a kid, but there's not much to do with it now. Man, I miss my robots. You're a strange guy. <laughs> I know. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? Are they wandering around out there? You see wandering around out yeah. Can I use the room? Wait, what? Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. How can you t how can you see what TVs are across the way though? Well fucking done, Doug. Nice, Doug. Dog nonsense might save a life. Good shit. Let's okay. Say it already hasn't. I got a few of them to take notice. Yeah, just like one. Damn, okay. Um, hmm. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Oh, we, we need to break the glass. I see. Oh, makes sense. Did you guys try to get in there and Whoops. Get weapon? Oh, I mean to pause. I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Open sesame. That won't work. <laughs> I was kidding. It's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doug. Doug, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Do I need to do more searching? There were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. But we're also party to some egregious fire code violations. You can't reach that? It's right there. What do you mean? How'd you end up here? 
Oh yeah, how did Glenn leave then, huh? He just texted up and it just made sense. Mm hmm So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, That's a good question. <laughs> I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? What's it matter? I guess it doesn't. When something like this happens, I suppose. All that matters is where you are, not how you got there. We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has some, but who knows if he actually worked here. Let's head back inside. Okay. okay maybe I need to... Uh, maybe I need to do some more searching or something. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> no, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead gods. Mama. Papa. What's that? A battery. Oh, perfect. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Yeah, not Ducky. I don't remember them very well. What, your parents? We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our Haley. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They, uh, pulled some bodies out of the office before we got here. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah. Cat, stop showing sympathy. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? He's good. She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. I wonder if Duck is bit. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. It happens. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. Yeah, that's rough. I killed that boy. We could have saved him together. You didn't have a choice. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. And he will remember your loyalty. Duck looks like the, the 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 bully kid from Toy Story. Another energy bar. Try to get some rest, huh? How can I with those things out there? Can I give this to someone? Hey, Duck, here you go. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. All right, let's go give this battery to to uh. Harley. I got one of those batteries. The radio. Great, thanks. I'm still looking for batteries for that day. Oh, we need more? Thanks. I appreciate it. I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. Okay, battery, battery, battery. 
Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Grabs candy bar, shelf and hands it to Sad Child. I know, dude. He's like, he's going around hand, handing around these energy bars that he found in the shop. Like, thanks, man. I didn't found that on my own. Uh, where is this? I need, I need more batteries, more batteries, more batteries. I don't see any others. Any other batteries? Oh, here we go. Boom. The last one. I think we just needed two, right? And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Boom. Hey, Connor. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Did you turn the power button on? Mm, nothing. The antenna's broken. Did you put him in the right way? Oh my god, is Carly... Is she dumb or something? Oh my... She's... She doesn't know what batteries are. She doesn't know how to put them into a radio. What'd she do? Just like... Just like turn it around and started like banging on it or something. Thinking that would turn it on. The station is okay. Is that it? Hey there. That radio sign off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. Really? Everyone's dead. <laughs> Then we don't need to talk about it. Thanks. There's nothing I can do now, anyway. Okay, let's let's go. Uh, let's go save Glenn. You ready to head out? You got it. You? I think I'm ready. Let's go. I don't think there's anything anything else I can do here yet, right? That was close. Did you see that? I sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys. Oh man, I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn. You couldn't have just like es right, escaped on your own? There's no zombies Can here. We get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go now. Listen. Yeah, fuck him. You're looking for gas. And then up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me. And, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right. We yeah, we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about it if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> Damn. 
Damn right, dude. Bunch of simps. Okay, what is this camera? What 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 is going on? Okay. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here quietly. Yeah, don't use the gun. <laughs> Don Kingston, yes. He warned us. Oh man. She's eating something. So we got that one right there, close. I saw one lurking on the other side of that car. We can hide by that RV if we're quiet and keep our heads down. Okay, let's do it. Go, 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 go. Now what? Let's head back to that wall. Safe there. We're a little naked out here, except for Carly's gun, and we can't use that much. I'm not sure I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. So wait, 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 we have to go back to the the wall. We should keep looking around for weapons. So we're, okay, I'm looking for a weapon. Over here. Oh no, no! Wait, wait! Don't break the. Oh. Hey, man, that drew some attention. Be careful. Yeah, I was gonna. I I did not think about what that was. Okay. Uh, can we uh pick it? Pick it somehow? Now we just have to get it quietly. Yeah. Uh, through the back, maybe. Uh, door handle. Door handle. Of course. It's like a puzzle, yeah, yeah, you gotta solve. Is the only way... Do I have to break the glass? No, right? No. What do I... Oh, Glenn, can you pick it? Their clothing attracts the others. How are you going to kill that one by the car without attracting the others? I don't know, huh? Are you going to help me? Or I got to do this all by myself, I guess? Fuck. He's not going anywhere. Am I supposed to use, use him somehow? Fuck it, break the glass. Okay, never mind. It's big brain time. Yeah, I guess. I'm trying to just go over every option, but I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing the solution right right now. Go back to the wall. Okay, sure. All right, what am I not seeing here? <clears throat> they really want to get into that room. We can hide by that pickup. They really want to get into that room. Oh, shit, what is this? Oh, a pillow. Oh. Didn't see that. Okay, now we can get into the truck. 
by smothering our punch. Break into the punch. No, okay. We not without tools. We're making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Go give this pillow to the zombie. Get out your gun. Cut the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. <laughs> nice. That was sick. Oh, then we oh, then we turn on the car alarm. Oh, never mind. No, nope, that's not working. What is that? Is that cigarette lighter? Spark plug. Oh. You should hold on to that. Could come in handy. What's the spark plug gonna do? It was awesome. <laughs> okay, now what? Can I use this somehow? Wait. Let me see the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Big brain time. All right, let's go kill. We go. Should we do we do we kill this zombie first? Easy. Almost. Almost now! Fuck! I waited too long. God damn it. Almost. Almost. There we go. Now! Right in the heart. That's gonna kill it. Yeah, they, okay, there we go. And there's big boy off here. You gonna take it with you? Kill the ones up top? Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice mix size tool. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Ooh. Are you two done? Here we go. Upgrade. Two more. That should help. Why don't 
you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell. Okay, we'll be right behind you. Nice. You want some too? There you go. Rad. Rad. Who the hell says rad, rad anymore? That was radical. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. <laughs> After all that, sure. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Glenn, you're simping, man. Just let her go. You're gonna kill us. Stop, just stop. I'm coming out. Okay, was that so hard? Oh my god, it's a zombie. Hurt. Oh god. I I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late. She's been Guys, bit. She's been bitten. What? I told you. I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. You never said you were bit. You could be fine. I won't be. You just fine. said go away. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? What? Fucking Glenn, dude. That. Of course. <laughs> it's not. Good. Jesus Christ. Please, just leave me. Please go. What if you turn and follow us back to our group? I know that was why I was locked away. I had a boyfriend. Oh, true. What happened to me? True had. You have a gun. So, can I borrow it? No. What do you mean borrow. Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this and then then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please. I don't want to be one of them. They're they're satanic. Give it to me, please! This is crazy! Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Just shoot her. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh! Uh oh. Whoa, take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just. No, no! no! Makes sense, honestly. That's why you should never simp. What a waste of time. Shit. Here they come. Get in. Wait, what? Everyone they right? had a car? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and well yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. All right. Back to where we were. Okay, I need to find something to break the glass, I think. How are you doing? Those TVs? You know. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know, I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to.
So how did how did they get there? Uh, whatever. What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I, I. Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Back the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess that's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good man. Good. I guess you really wanted that gun. Seems like. Why didn't you tell Carly to just give it to her? Would you have given it to her? No way. Then you know why. Try to get some rest. Yeah, <laughs> why'd you ask? <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Uh okay, what am I looking for? Don't really know what I'm looking for. Oh, I have an axe. Oh, wait, hold on. Is that gonna help? Oh. Where was where's Doug at? Where's Dougie boy? How we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. This axe gonna help? Nice. Awesome. Now to distract those things. With the brick. Carefully. I can't reach that brick. What do you mean you can't reach that brick? It's right there. Oh my god, Lee, I think you're just lazy. You want Doug to do everything. job over there yeah it didn't work those TVs are on and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass okay now can you reach the brick Wow nice Get a good chuck in. How does that zombie not see him? Nice. Nice throw. Go, 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 go. That his brother or something? Yeah. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Yeah, come on, Lee. <laughs> Sometime today. I got to do this now, man. I got to do this. Oh, one more time, two more times. Three more times. There we go. Ah, you hit the head. Took you a minute. Okay. Run! 
Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. Yes, sir. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. I'm amazing, huh? Oh, what the hell? We gotta hurry. Wait, the alarm turned on? Oh no, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. What am I doing? Oh shit. Cool, thanks Doug. Appreciate it. Know what? I should know what? Huh? I I should know <laughs> that she she wants you, Doug. Nice shots. Can you look for something to stick in between the hands of the real strong? Okay. Find a big old piece of wood. Did you find anything? Nothing. The window is screwed. Go. Yeah, they're just gonna come in through the window now. What the hell? Come on. I found something. Oh, the cane. Is that gonna hold? Oh, fucking Doug, dude. Oh, they're already. Oh, do I have to choose to save someone? Oh, God. Okay, here we go. Choices. Uh, I'm gonna save uh, Carly. She has, she, she's, she has the gun. She's a sharp, sh sharp shot. Sharp shot. Nice. Uh, it's Travis Scott. No, Doug. I'm sorry, man. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Doug. Oh my God. Let's go. We got Doug. Clem. Run! What the fuck, dude? Why? I got you your pills, you bitch! Oh my god, this dude. I swear to god. Oh. Fucking Larry, man. Fuck that guy. We need to kill him. The hell's his deal, man? <laughs> what the fuck was that for? Oh, we're at the motel now. Yeah, what the hell was that? That was. 
That was so random. How you doing, Glenn? Stage nine. I think I need to go. Why? To Atlanta. Yeah, I got friends there, and I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left, I gotta go. I have to go. Uh, I gotta take my chances. There's a TV show that I gotta go uh, take part in. It's a little bigger than this game, but don't worry, I won't forget you guys. Find your friends. Be safe. Thanks, Lee. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup. And I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Let's hope. You guys be safe. We'll try. Just keep repeating the same lines in the background. Alright, see ya, Glenn. Keep an eye out for you on the TV. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. Thanks, Kitty. You got it. Did you check the glove box? I swear I saw it there. You never pay attention to the way you use things. This is so awesome. SPN is sweet. You know what? Can you just look over it? How are you doing, Connie? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do. Yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. I mean, I could have, but it would have. I know it's stupid. We just. No, you would have died, but. He was such a. It's just that. I think that I liked him. Yeah, I liked him too. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway. I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was gonna help you both. Thought you needed the help. I didn't. I thought you needed the help. Ah, that makes sense. But it wasn't a choice like that. Some idea. I don't <laughs> that is kind of a, a weird question I just to ask. Wish we both could have made it, you know. Me too, Connie. Did you check the glove box? This is so awesome. Oh man, check this out. The Dumatron had this mini gun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then is Duck just like spazzing out over here, Clementine. Okay. Sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's I got grabbed again. I was there though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, 
but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. Just look over and now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Oh my god, this guy. Oh man, Clementine. Another thing. Oh, shut up, duck. What do you want? You like my daughter? Which one's the dot? Oh, Lily. Yeah, she's cool. Stay the fuck oh my god, dude. What is this guy's deal? You racist or something? <laughs> oh, okay. That's what. Oh, that makes that makes sense. I know who you are, and I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Yeah, right back at you, buddy. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? Uh, I don't know, do I? <laughs> My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. What? Chopper? Those choppers? The motor pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Yeah, I think, you know. All gonna be all right. Okay, never mind. Perfect timing. Next time on The Walking Dead. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. So is that part one done? Part I'll one of season one? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. Energy bars just everywhere, huh? I'm really hungry, Lee. Here's an energy bar. Soon. This game's sponsored by energy I'm bars. Some kind of energy bar. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. Another farm. Keep what happened with the walkers at Herschel's farm. You choose the kids this time. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fuck with us. Now we're gonna take what we want. There's too many of them. Yeah! Ooh, hey. You never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore, whenever you thought Kenny's kid was fit, you went out of your way to side against him. This isn't happening. <laughs> yeah, and he wasn't bit, was he? All right, honesty lied to Herschel. You and forty percent of players lied. Who would you save, Duck or Sean? You and forty-eight chose Sean. Wait, Duck or Sean? Side with Kenny. You and forty percent defended Kenny. Mercy gave Irene the gun. Refused to give her the gun. It's pretty fifty-fifty on everything. Uh, who would you save, Doug or Carly? You and forty-nine percent of players chose Char. Oh, fifty-one percent chose Doug. Huh, interesting. Yeah, but I thought I, I thought I saved Duck. Oh, that's right, I didn't. That's right. I think I just went. I think I went straight towards Sean. Oh, that's right. That's right. I was trying. I I remembered that Sean was the son. I was just trying to remember like how I chose him over Duck. But yeah, I think I, I did go straight towards him instead of going towards Duck. 